When searching for a vehicle to drive to Mongolia, we look for three main things. Ruggedness, durability, and to be nimble enough to drive through the European streets. Which is why we chose Olga. I'm Chris. And I'm Steve. And on this episode of Osnog Racing, we're going to be taking a closer look at the unique features of our ambulance, Olga. Well, of course, he means the toys on our ambulance, Olga. No, I mean unique features, Chris. Anyways, you must be asking yourself, where does one get an ambulance from? Well, I'd say, well, probably in St. Paul, Minnesota. It's funny you should mention that, Chris, because that's exactly where we got ours. So the journey began with us waking up at an ungodly hour to get to the Philadelphia airport in order to catch a flight over to the city of Chicago before catching another flight to the city of St. Paul, Minnesota. From there, we left the airport, held a taxi, and went to get our ambulance. Now, Chris, he talked to the owner about the history of the vehicle. Then he taped up the lights so we wouldn't get arrested. Next, the 1,200-mile voyage began home. Fortunately, we had some tourist traps to go to, like this taxidermy and cheese shop, or this memorial for the 1918 circus train wreck, or some odd yet intriguing statues. He decided to play MacGyver. Well, I, I contemplated my questionable facial hair. Now enough with the interesting stuff. Back to Chris. Now this 1990 E350, well, may not be as nimble as I said she was, but this medical maven has some other amazing capabilities. Olga, weighing in at nearly 7,000 pounds, can go 0 to 60 in 33.4 seconds and gets 11 miles to the gallon. That's enough to make your wallet scream. All this to feed the 7.3 liter diesel engine hiding under this monster's hood. Olga is large, loud, and American. Can she corner? Oh, no. Can she navigate rough terrain? Well, probably not. But can she wake up your neighbors at 3 a.m. and drive them to the edge of sanity? Absolutely. Now what Chris is forgetting to tell you is something very special and it can be found in the rear. Now when you think of an ambulance, you think of medical supplies and gurneys, but not this one. It's been modified, modified by the state of Minnesota into a SWAT vehicle. Let me show you. The inside of Olga has been equipped with tables and chairs like a command center. It has extra outlets for computers and storage space for tear gas. And as cool as owning a SWAT vehicle is, it's not the most practical choice. In fact, it's terrible. It takes up too much road, eats up too much petrol, and quite frankly, when we go to Russia, I think they may declare war. War be damned, we're driving this ambulance through the Ural Mountains, the Gobi Desert, and on the Autobahn. Now, some people think we're crazy. And we might be, but this ambulance is gonna serve as our mobile production facility throughout the trip. And we get to donate this ambulance to the Mongol government, who get to use it for their infrastructure. Yeah. And we have an ambulance. 